God bless you, my beloved one. This is Rabbi Schneider. Thank you for joining me today on this special video devotional called Seeds of Revelation. I'm going today to the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 36. Hear the Word of God. While you have the light, Jesus said, believe in the light so that you may become sons of light. I want to challenge you with this truth. Sometimes people get revelation from God and they recognize that what they're perceiving is true, but they put it off and they say, I know it's true, but I'm not ready later. You know, many times people say, I'm going to come to Jesus. I'm going to give myself to Jesus, but I'm not ready yet. I have some other things that I'm, that I'm enjoying right now that I need to take care of, and I know that I can't live for Jesus and live this other way at the same time. So I'm going to come to you, Jesus, but first I've got to have some fun. I want you to know, beloved one, that's a very dangerous position to take. Because you know what? We can only respond to Jesus while He's reaching out towards us. The Bible says, if we go on sinning willfully after receiving a knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin for us, but rather a fearful expectation of judgment. The scripture also says that if God is reaching out to us and we keep on rejecting Him and saying no to Him, what He does, get this now, is He withdraws His Holy Spirit from us and our heart gets permanently hardened and we end up, beloved, being destroyed for our own sin. So Jesus is saying here, while you have the light, that's today. If today you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. While you have the light, Jesus said, believe in the light that you might become a child of light. You have the light today. You have to make a choice today, whether it's receiving him for the first time or whether it's yielding to him in an area of your life that he's been knocking at the door of your heart about. Father, I pray for these that are watching right now. I know that you're speaking to many of them. There's things in our lives, Father God, that you've been dealing with. You've been reaching out to us. You've been nudging us along. You've been wooing us to yourself. You've been convicting us. And Jesus, you said we need to obey the light while we have the light so that we can become children of light. And so, Father, I just right now pray that you will break into the hearts of your people with strong conviction with a solid love of the truth, that, Father, they will make a decision today, right now, to say yes to the light, to believe in the light, and to follow the light, that each one under the sound of my voice that's listening to this broadcast might become fully a child of light. God bless you, beloved one. Let's hear and let's obey in Jesus' name.